In this video, we're having a look at the latest lot of cruise ships that have just been sold. In the past, these cruise ships might have moved to other cruise lines, but increasingly cruise ships are moving straight to the scrapyard because no one's really buying cruise ships at the minute. The first cruise ship is the Morella Dream. It was always Morella's plan to move on the Morella Dream, but they thought they had the ship for about five more years. Thanks to the 2020 situation, Morella have decided to sell the Morella Dream and she's gone. She's gone. She's a well-loved cruise ship, but she is gone. The Morella Dream was built in 1986, which does make her quite old by cruise ship standards. She's relatively small too and only holds around 1,500 passengers, so it's not a massive surprise to me that Morella would want to move on this ship. Even if you've never cruised with Morella, you'll probably know this ship from some of her other names. The Morella Dream was the Westerdam for Holland America and she actually sailed for Costa as Costa Europa. She's had quite an interesting life. In 1989, she had a massive refit where they actually lengthened the ship. They cut the ship in half and they added over a hundred foot of length into the middle. If you have a look at some of the pictures of the ship later on, I think you can tell because some of the windows look slightly bigger to me in the middle section. Not sure if that's just me, but they definitely added a hundred feet into the middle of this cruise ship. They did that back in 1989, which considering the ship was only built in 1986, it didn't take them very long for them to decide that they wanted her to be longer. She sailed for a few years with Holland America before being sold to Costa. As the Costa Europa, the ship was involved in quite a big accident in Egypt. In 2010, the ship hit the pier. Three tourists were injured and three crew members actually died during that accident. She was then transferred to Thompson and then Thompson rebranded to become Morella. She has stuck with the dream name. She was the Thompson dream and now the Morella dream. There are a lot of rumors that this ship is heading to the scrapyard, but at the moment there are no confirmed reports of that. I wouldn't be surprised though if she does head to the scrapyard. There aren't really that many people at the minute that are looking to buy cruise ships of this age and size. This did come as quite a surprise to all of the Morella passengers. People had booked on this cruise ship before it was cancelled. All of those sailings were moved to the Morella Discovery. I've cruised on the Morella Discovery. She is fantastic. And in my mind, she's a much better ship than the Morella Dream. So I wouldn't view that as a bad thing. The next ship on our list is called Karnica. And even if you don't recognize the name Karnica, you will recognize some of the ship names that she's had before. She's had a very busy life. The Karnica was built in 1990 as Crown Princess. There is a Crown Princess currently cruising with Princess. They have reused the name, but she was the original Crown Princess. She's actually had quite a few ship names in her time. She was the Arosa Blue, Ada Blue, and then the Ocean Village 2. If you don't know about Ocean Village, they were a sister company to P&O Cruises and they stopped operating in 2010. They seem very well loved. I haven't cruised with them, but the people that have tell me amazing stories about them. If you've cruised with them, let me know in the comments. The ship is possibly best known for being the Pacific Jewel. When she was the Pacific Jewel for P&O Australia, she actually had an episode of Neighbours filmed on board and apparently that did a big thing for the publicity of the cruise line. In 2019, she was bought by Gilesh Cruises and renamed Karnica. They're a relatively new cruise line, an Indian cruise line, but the ship has since been sold to the scrapyard for $11 million. Yes, $11 million. I thought I'd check that because that seemed ridiculous, but $11 million. Next up, we have the cruise ship Grand Celebration for the Bahamas Paradise Line. This one is technically not confirmed, but you can track the route of this cruise ship and she is heading to a scrapyard. So I think it's pretty well assumed that this cruise ship is gonna be scrapped. You may recognize the design of Grand Celebration as being a carnival design. That carnival funnel is iconic. She was built for Carnival Cruise Line way back in 1987. This ship technically was a Costa cruise ship for a very, very short period of time. The day before she was supposed to be taking her first Costa cruise, the day before there was an announcement that the cruise ship had been bought by another cruise line. Everybody who had booked on that cruise ship either was refunded or moved to other cruise ships, but it was bought by Bahamas Paradise Line. If you're from outside the US, you might not know a lot about Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. They're a very small cruise line and they were planning on restarting right at the beginning of this coronavirus situation. It seems like they've been in the news recently for less than ideal things. There was a lot of controversy. Controversy? They have struggled to pay some of their crew. A lot of their crew were working and not being paid and they were taken to court and they did decide to settle. So make of that what you will. The Grand Celebration has departed Freeport in the Bahamas and she is heading to India to a scrapyard. As I said, they're not yet confirming that this cruise ship is going to be scrapped, but to me it seems like a massive coincidence that not only is the ship heading to a scrapyard, but the cruise line itself is in quite a lot of difficulties. 
In honour of carnival celebration, there is going to be a new carnival celebration coming out in 2022. Carnival do like to reuse their names, so do Princess, so do Holland America. All of these cruise lines are part of the Carnival Cruises brand. And within that, you'll see the same names coming round and around and around. It's not ideal for me trying to work out which cruise ship is which, but these are well-loved names, so they get reused. Next up, we have Magellan, who was a cruise ship for CMV. CMV did go bankrupt earlier in the year and all of their cruise ships were auctioned off. The cruise ship was built in 1985 and she was built for Carnival Cruise Line. She was just called Holiday. Holiday for Carnival Cruise Line. She's a relatively small cruise ship with only 1,500 passengers, but she's done a lot in her life. In 2003, she had a massive dry dock and then in 2005, she actually became housing for people affected by Hurricane Katrina. When she was renamed Grand Holiday, she was actually a hotel during the 2014 Olympics. So she's been around and she's done a lot of things. A lot of people love this cruise ship. She's been with CMV since 2015. Magellan is her current name and she has been auctioned off. She was bought by Sea Jets for an estimated $8 million. Sea Jets have been buying up a lot of the cruise ships that have been sold in 2020. That brings their total to six cruise ships bought this year. Sea Jets are also the company that bought Columbus, another well-loved cruise ship for CMV. Following the collapse of CMV, that's Cruise and Maritime Voyages, all of the cruise ships were laid up. They didn't really have anywhere to go or anything to do. Since then, they've all been auctioned off. Astra has been sent to the scrapyard and a couple of the other ships, we still don't know where they're going. Astoria and Marco Polo, there still isn't a set plan for them. They're both pretty old cruise ships. It would surprise me if they did anything other than go to the scrapyard at this point. But there is a serious fan base for these smaller CMV cruise ships. And I know those people are going to want to see them saved from the scrapyard, but we'll have to wait and see. This video is part three of a four part series. If you haven't already seen parts one and two, make sure you check those out next. I'm going to be bringing you a roundup post of all of the sold cruise ships in 2020, what actually happened to them, who's been scrapped, who has new lives with other cruise lines. So make sure you subscribe for that.